and getting our uh, reclamation in and finding little bits of piece of plastic and bits of iron. That's nice good. muddy water. We're used to that around here. That's not bad. I mean, it's not great. I always feel like I'm always chasing the scraps of the old boys. Yeah, same here. This is Harry from Mine Operator. This is the mother load, and we're in an intermittent stream. And I got some intel that there's some coarse gold, three mil gold in this creek. And I have a buddy with me. Say hi, buddy. Hello, folks. Let's <laughs> get to work, man. What do, you, what do you got here? Gold. What, what do you got here? Well, we have a natural little sluice right here, which is, I've already uh, dug this out the other day. and got about, oh, quarter, quarter gram. Okay. In that one little hole right there. So we're hoping to get maybe three or four grams right in this little area. Oh, big promise. So this is not the desert anymore. And I have worked uh, reclamation suction dredging before, but I've never worked a, a creek or anything in the mother load. And I've never got a nugget out in a river like this. So we'll see if I get lucky today. What do you think? You think we'll get lucky today? Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna. Yeah, I know we are. I'm All right. Just, I, <laughs> we're using nothing but pans and classifiers. Uh, there's no water here. Uh, the the soil inside the cracks are still moist. So it's gonna be an experiment to try to get this out with nothing but shovels and uh, classifying. We brought some water to try to help knock down the bigger stuff, and then instead of trying to pan it here. We're going to take it back uh, and run it in a sluice. Yeah. Nice little crack I've been cleaning out right here. I'll run this crack right over into this spot. Plus fine. It's nice and cool now. Oh yeah. Definitely cool. This is the spot I moved to now. Getting the rubber burden dug up here in the classifier. It's a moist soil. And I got you panning. A little I'm test pan. Did that come right from the top of the bedrock or above? This is right. This is in the bedrock right on top. I got you. Point. Not down there, over here. Okay, you're working up there. Yeah, I moved that boulder right there. Yeah. I see the roots. And then there's some other little smaller boulders down underneath that I yet have to go, but they make like a, a bedrock right there itself, and right on top of those boulders, you're going to find some gold. I see where you're working. Let's see if you get any color. Yeah, and I'm the one who taught Harry how to do that panning trick. Where's my water? Here it is. Let's see if we got a flake or two. How much material was in the pan before you panned it? Two scoops of that little. So you classified shovel. it off? Yeah. Classified and then two scoops of it. Two scoops. Yep. Let's see if we got any gold in it. Don't be putting water in my hole now. Yes, sir. Okay. I didn't see any in that. Doesn't mean it's not there. Any color at all? I don't think there is actually, not in that scoop. There might be. Let's see. No, nah, no color in there. Cool. We'll repeat later. Still kind of wet, huh? Oh, yeah. I think we're going to have to get some water. You're, you're better off than me. Mine's terrible. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to classify this uh, without water. I got a little bit of a brown layer in my spot. So I thought I hit bedrock and I was wrong. And so I got further down. And right, right here is a, is a brown layer with these kind of 
flat little gravels and then I get down to this this uh, gray mud layer um, and I'm told there's nothing really in the gray stuff but I'm gonna clean this hole out some more I'll start picking through the gray layer here and see if I can get down to bedrock and see if I find another brown layer because this guy tells me it's not on the gray stuff it's in the brown stuff see si, senor si, senor We'll have to classify this with some water and a local water company a local water company had uh, donated some water jugs for us rim rock water so we were able to bring the water to the site here we'll go ahead and set this thing up and try to classify this down and keep going Harry don't drop the camera <laughs> I think I put too much in here, brother. What's that? You want to fill that five gallon up. That's what I'm doing. And then shake it and it'll splash up to the bottom and eventually you'll get it. And then you only need a little bit of water each time. Copy that. Well, I was too lazy to carry two at once. I had enough of that today. Have you had enough of that today? <laughs> yeah. And you can see a lot of this uh, gravel is short. It's not a long time in the river. I need another bottle. I'll be back. You stay here. Pretty good, bud. Works good. Work great. That's gotta watch out for glass. What the gray stuff is? Yeah. Is the um, shell. That this is it. Shale? Well, this is a uh, shale. Yeah. Right? Bedrock. Yeah. Okay. And that, in turn, is the gray is the decomposed. Bedrock. Decomposed yeah. bedrock. Gotcha. Well, I'll scrape all the brown stuff off the gray stuff. How's that sound? That's what I did. Hey, I could be wrong. I, I'm just saying, I just didn't find any when I did. How many times have you prospected this location? Um, twice. Okay. This particular one. Okay. I'm, I'm averaging about a third of a gram per half a bucket. Okay. For two full buckets, I got a little, little over a gram of gold. Gotcha. And I anticipate um, doing that today. And we'll be out here for about three hours to get two buckets. All right. I'm digging in holes. Nope. Just, I could, I'm just saying it could be worse. You could be sitting in an office. Yep, right nope. Not me. No, sir. Let me know if you need that brush. And my buddy's decided to take a union break. So we're taking a rest. I like to see these 
these this rock formation kind of form riffles as it goes down this little intermittent stream. This is another way looking uh, looking up the blackberries, looking up the intermittent stream. There's lots of exposed bedrock. And there'll be quartz going across the bedrock here in just a brief moment. Yeah. There you go. For all those snipers out there like to go crevicing, here's your here's your deal. It's a good chance this was pounded in the past. Pretty good. This hasn't been touched in a long time though. There's quartz uh, in the bedrock here along the way. You just gotta look for it. Yeah, I've seen some pieces of quartz. <clears throat> Yeah, it's got the little, little, little bugs in there. This isn't very rounded though. It's pretty coarse. Yeah, it's just it's been. This creek is only two two miles long, so everything you see here has only had an opportunity to travel two miles. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, a little gravel on the bank here. Yeah, I'd be interested to see how these banks do, buddy. Um, Up here. I haven't yet had an opportunity to explore these banks along here. There's a piece of quartz. Very coarse. Right in here. So you got bedrock and then you got your gravels. So I'd be curious to see where um, you're able to find gold. That would work right into the bank along these. That might be where the gold's coming from and, and all the cracks that you've been playing in. All right, union break is over. Time to get back to filling buckets. He's doing pretty good. Getting some material. Gonna have to clean up that bedrock though. I'll work my way uh, up to wherever this kind of hole goes to. Picked up a few pieces of quartz uh, in the bedrock here, and I broke it open, and I didn't I didn't see any color. Just some bugs. And getting our uh, reclamation in and finding little bits of piece of plastic and bits of iron. That's a leaf. We'll get this stuff out of here. Get our reclamation in for the day. So I've been classifying in water and my buddy's been classifying in this old beat up thing. And uh, I'm going to go over to what he's classified and reclassify it through water again. Get what he missed. But I'll start classifying in this guy. I like the wire better anyways than the plastic. But I'll get this cleaned out. Update. My hole's getting bigger. Oh yeah. And I'm on a nice little... Yeah, man. Gray clay. And I'm working this gravel right on top of the gray here. Yeah, this, this is the direction I'm going. On top of the gray layer. This looks like fun. Oh yeah, all lots of fun. We gave up an office it's, job. It's all this. it's all wet, and so it's not really going through. I know I'm missing a lot of gold, but I'll get it next time I come out. Yeah. I'm not worried about it. I'll just come back here with a metal detector. But today is just going to do it with pans and classifiers. Keep it simple. He's moving up in the uh, little riffle up above where he's working. Yes, sir. I'm chasing my little layer. Where'd that broom go? That kick that over. Ask and you shall receive. All Thank right. Thank you, kind sir. So I'm going to start moving some of these rocks out of the way so I can proceed that way. I still haven't actually hit bedrock, but I beat into this clay, and it was like he was saying, this is decomposed bedrock, and 
I broke it until I got to what was a layer what appeared to be a layer of bedrock and it was there was no gravels there was no color nothing so I'll just continue on keep finding these little things I guess that's a centipede somebody out there that knows bugs would be able to tell me I'll get them out of the way here come on don't be a pain there you go go over there There we go. I'm going to start working, working this way now. Cool beans. Oh, yeah. There it is. Mud. Nasty mud. Got one bucket and I'm working on the second. Looks like you're working the side of the bank here. What do you got? Okay, I got uh, ancient riverbed here. I'm going to see if there's any gold in it. What makes you think it's an ancient riverbed? Um, it's a caliche type stuff where it hardens really hard. Um, this is probably pre 1800s um, material. And uh, I'll break it all up. Uh, I might run it through my crusher hammer mill. Nice. And uh, just break it all up and eh, see what's in it. You nice. know, uh, last time I found a piece of this was in a uh, hydraulic mining area. Yeah. And I got more gold out of that one little chunk than I'd ever gotten ever out of anything. So it's uh, it could be really rich, or I'm just um, having fun digging in the dirt. You see just below where you're hammering? See all the little how yeah. all the stones are rounded? Yeah, this, this is all like like concrete. Yeah, and that's that's caliche. Hard uh, pack, right? You call that hard pack? Yeah, hard pack caliche. Um, various names for it. Um, yeah, it's it's just basically really ancient riverbed is what it is. Cool. And we're gonna go. There's a lot of it here. Back to my spot. He got tired of getting bit by mosquitoes, so he moved. We don't seem to be bothering him over there, so I'll keep going here. So I don't want to take it from me. It's too awkward. for the day. Alright, we'll clean up and bring it back to the sluice. Run it, see what we got. Not bad. Be nice to spend a little more time here, but 
You got day jobs too. All right. I almost forgot my gloves. My Muppet finger gloves. I almost forgot them. And I also found a piece of serpentine. Yeah. Normally, uh, I've only found one outcrop of serpentine down in the Mojave. So this is my first serpentine out of a out of an intermittent stream. So we'll see if I uh, cab it up and see how that one goes. All right, now I got my gloves. We can go. So I'm not very optimistic about any gold and what I was digging. But I think my buddy probably had uh, better luck than me, or will have better luck than me, considering he was actually on bedrock and I was in mud. So he's staring at me saying it's time to go. He's tired of being bit by mosquitoes. They've been, they've been enjoying him, but not me. I didn't get bit once, brother. All right, the rest of this is top secret. And we just get back to the property where we're gonna sluice, and there's a fawn right here. Oh, she's fast. Oh, there's a fawn, bam, two fawns. I wasn't fast enough to get them. I missed. There we go. You can see that. There's mama and two two fawns. You know, little fawn was laying right here next to the sluice. That's uh, that's as close as dinner gets. Oh, no doubt about <laughs> it. Hey. It's hard to see, but right there is a nice. Looks like uh. Almost, uh, he's got what, three points on one side starting, and I can't tell, he's still in velvet. Yeah, he's my buddy. He comes around all the time. He hangs out over there. Nice. You can walk right up to him, and he'll uh, just sit there and look at you. I'll leave him be. Not a it's a new top secret. Gold riffles. They're invisible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You, you didn't install it yet. <laughs> All right, let's let's take care of that problem then. What do you Just your standard riffles. There you go. That was a clean up mat. Yeah. Harry, um, Harry approves. It'll work. They work. Got to make sure I get the right end. Everybody's loose is different. Everybody's like, what's the best matting? And it's the matting you have, really, but. I've got um, Razorback matting, not to put the plug in for them, for this uh, little homemade sluice I made. Um, but I find this actually, for what we're doing, uh, the river stuff is just perfect. It, it catches all the gold. I mean, a little bit gets by. I mean, I've gone through and re-ran, but I'm getting just minute secondary runs not worth my time to even go and do yeah. it you don't really have the ultra fine flower gold this is just more coarse pounded flat flake right yep okay so we're gonna run these two first yeah these are yours these are the ones i did and these are gonna be lighter weight yours is more solid yeah um we'll see who gets the most i think you're probably gonna beat me you it looks like you're on a better trap than me i was in a little mud pocket no, 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 no. Don't put yourself down now. Yeah, but see, that's why I can't be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> True. It looks like uh, we relocated uh, another bug. I'm trying to get out. You're going in circles, bud. All right, we'll fire this thing up. Okay, now in this bucket... There's a lot of chunkies in here because it was getting to a point where it was really wet material so I just started dumping it in there. So uh, what you're saying is you're going to add gravel to your yard. Yeah, let me have a scoop. Which one do you desire? Uh, man? This one will work. Alright. So we're just going to go ahead and just start running this stuff. And 
Now, what do you think about material that is dry versus material wet running in the sluice? I've had I people prefer, counsel us. I prefer wet, and the reason I prefer wet is your gold will get um, a like oxygen on it, and it'll float right on out the back end. Yep. Whereas if it's wet, that happening is less likely. Um, it'd be nice if we had a little flake in there already, but we don't. But well, that would have been nice. Well, we got we got a lot of buckets to go, so we'll, yeah. uh, we'll show a few here, and then let's, after all the malfunctions are over, yeah, let's get this rippling down. It cooled off with the cold water and changed the pattern. Okay, good enough. Doesn't have to be perfect. I like to kind of go slow, and if I see a lot like that go floating down, I'll go a little slower. Yep. Ah, this might need to be wetted down before we put it in. I just kicked your level off. Yeah, you probably did. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some water to this. Oh, we got a beetle. Ah. Yeah, I was, I was watching him go in circles. He's gone. There. there you go, bud. You're free. Oh, there's a black ant here. Yeah, he's, he kind of needs, oh, that's a spider, dude. Or a spider, rather. You go eat the beetle. Um, you know, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna go dry. If, if a little bit goes down, yeah, I'm not one to really worry about it too much. Yeah, I got my, uh, my mud. I see. Mud goo on there from It'll roll yep. down. Yep, and then the, the clays, they'll roll right off the sluice, unfortunately. If there's any gold in the clay and it doesn't get dissolved, then, yep, bye-bye. That'd be good to have a little trommel then. Oh, yeah, that would work. Put this stuff in a little trommel, that'll work. All right, let's check back in after we've done this for a while. Before yeah. the water gets too dirty. That's why I'm talking about those bigger pieces. I'm just gonna have to pick them out. And no worries. Yeah, that's why I said no worries. So it's all cut. It'll all work. Just make sure you get get them to go through. Because those bigger rocks are gonna compete. Uh, I'll check back in a little bit. Moving down to the end of this bucket. Oh yeah, it's nice good. muddy water. We're used to that around here. We're not going to be able to see any color until we get this in the pan and clean it out. Or maybe we'll see something when you shut the water off at the end. Oh, watch your camera there for a second. All right. Expert clean out method. There we go. Done. Cool. All right. Let's see if we can see any plates. All right. Anything? Anything? <laughs> I don't see any gold. Where's all the gold? I think you've been skunk, sir. We'll see. We won't know until you get uh get it in the pan. Yeah, let's see if we can see it. There's no, that's not a piece over there. Negative. Yeah, there's some in there. I guarantee it. Well, I gotta know now. Okay, where's my pan? I got it over there. I'll go grab it. All right, let's clean it up. Oh, dirty sluice, you got some undercut. Yeah, well the mats are pulled and we're gonna we're gonna get whatever's in there out. We're gonna see what we got. It doesn't look that great, but no. you never know until you exciting. Uh, let's let's get a little power wash here and run that down. There we go. Let's see what we got. All right, yeah, that's good now. Water's very important. Not too much. Let's see. Got a lot of magnetite in there. 
Let's see if we've got any gold in there. Bang. There Look at go. that. We got a little bit of color. Hold on, we're not done. Let's get this magnetite out of here real quick. Yeah, trying to pull a piece of gold out of there too. All right. oh, a little one trying to escape. I see it. I see it. It ain't going anywhere. I don't let it get away. You find one that I left? Yeah. I uh, pulled it You're down. You're trying to rob yourself. Yeah, well, I can always pan it again. Yeah, sure would be nice to be able to set up like a high banker or a sluice on that little Oh yeah, bed. most definitely. Well, there's some there you go. pretty small pieces in there. I was expecting some bigger pieces actually. That's all right. That was your, your first bucket. That was actually only half a bucket. There you go. Not bad for half a bucket. Some people would argue that's a bad pan if you just a full pan. Looks like we see a little bit of um, mercury on the one here. Reclamation. Reclamation. Hey, buddy. We got a six pointer over here. Let's see how close he lets me get to him. A little too close for you, huh? But I'll back off. We got another one right there. He came up on the property. We noticed him. He had a limp. I think maybe he got hit by a car. He's right there. Good looking deer. Healthy. So I want to fill this up with water. Yeah, we're gonna put some water in this one. It's uh, I'm yeah, it is moist. I'm concerned that the little rolls of chunks uh, like may contain gold that uh, will go to the end of the sluice and not get caught. Yep. So I mean, they're not mushed per se, and um, it's just um, just uh, I was getting stuff. feeling, so to speak, that that needs to get watered up and fill it up with water and. We'll run it like that. You got some See, good chunks in there, dude. Yeah. That piece of quartz. How'd slipped. you get that in there? Yeah. Yeah, well. We counseled ourselves and added water. We weren't satisfied with the little clumps that were running down the sluice, so now we'll soak his classified material before it goes in the sluice. As that last one was disappointing. This bucket is what more full than the last one? Yeah. Last one was about half full with that. It had a lot of chunky pieces in it because the material when I was uh, classifying it was um, too wet. I like this better than panning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got a little carried away there. Why? I don't know. Dumped it a little too fast. Let it run out. I think my run. Well, there's a tick crawling on me. Come here, buddy. You're not supposed to be here. You got a tick on you? Hey, he's, he's trying to find a place to bite me. Ooh, that is a tick. We do not want the Lyme's disease, do we? Yeah. You're going to have. I didn't realize you were filming. My bad. Some people freak out with these things. Um, as long as you get them out of your skin within 24 hours, life's good. But if uh, they're in there longer, maybe you have a bad day. Okay, Harry, what do you think? Think we're going to hit the mother load? Negative. But I think we'll see some color based upon past results. Myself, you know, I like the hard rock, but this is fun. Yeah, that was a good workout.
So tell me, how much did it cost to put this little sluice together? Really? Yeah. I did this about eight years ago. Yeah. My memory, come on, man. Really? I put you on the spot. I see that. I'm getting squirted so you at got, the So you got this uh, aluminum that you paid someone to bend. Um, I bought the aluminum in San Diego. Took it over to the local metal shop, had them bend it. And of course I riveted this end piece on. And rivets? We, yeah, we used rivets and then... Rivet or a rivet? Rivet. <laughs> Don't rib me. <laughs> uh, and uh, I used, um, uh, what is that, uh, that water glue? You're the one that hooked me up on that. Are you talking about 5200? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the marine grade 5200? Yeah, that's what I used in between this. Right. Uh, you, I don't know, you might, might see a little bit on the back end. I think I did a pretty good job wiping it off. Yeah. Let's see, you have uh, expertly used a little conduit holder. <laughs> yeah, I improvised it. Hey, it worked. Well, you know, what do you want? You know, we got a little boiler box here. This is different. Um, oh, here. There's a little plate right here. You don't have to worry about it right now. There's a little plate right here. It acts like a boiler box. And what it does is it, it evens the flow of the water yeah. so when it enters into the riffles, yeah. it doesn't overwhelm the riffles. Whose idea um, was that? That's mine. Nice. Originally it was straight up. Yeah. And what I did was I flipped it over. It I don't know. It was just a little experiment. I left like that and it worked seems to work okay. And we got a piece of gold, I believe, uh we were looking at over here somewhere. Yeah, it's gone. Now. We can't we can't see it, but buried. Yeah. We don't want a piece of gold. We want pieces several of gold. pieces many, of gold. Many gold. Many pieces. Multiply the pan, the same pan over here. Okay, ready? Yep. All right. What do we got? Unfortunately, well, you probably need a flashlight. We hold lost our son and left my flashlight in your on, truck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get my camera out. Let's see if you got some light here. There we go. There's a little, there's a picker right there. Looks like a piece there. No, that's not a piece. Right there, definitely. Oh, there's one right there. That's one right there. Yeah, let's, let's see here. Kind of, those are kind of full. I want. I'm concerned because we were having a problem with that. Yeah, it might be packing. It might have packed up, and we might have lost some. Yeah, off camera, the uh, we had to take apart the little bilge pump, not billage pump, the bilge pump, and uh, that was kind of an issue. So there might have been some packing in here. So if yeah. your water flow is too slow, your ripples do not self clean. Yeah. We're past civil twilight, so we're into night operations now, and. You have cleverly placed your phone above water, which is potential energy. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll put it in my pocket. Yeah. That's a smart maneuver. Yeah, we don't want to put phones in like potential our, energy over water. Be like our buddy who had it over the top of Lake Tahoe and dropped it. Yeah. Who's that? Brian. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you called him out. Yeah. This is one of, uh, one of, one of his friends. He dropped it in Lake Tahoe? Yeah, oh yeah. Right He's never going to get that back. That, that thing's oh, no. deep. It's long gone. I see. I saw one in the riffle there just a second ago. Okay. Yeah, I saw one. Yeah, I think I see other one. My flashlight is weak. Let's see what we got in the... You going to cheat? Yeah. Let's see what we got in the tail end. Some colors. There's a whole bunch up there. I mean can't really see now with the go ahead and keep going give it another okay get it get a little more you got one okay picker in there yeah I think we that they may have packed up I might have to run that bucket again they packed up I think we're gonna do a very good job there all right 
That, that water was just running way too slow. All right, it's my turn. Run mine. Yep, yep, yep. But hey, hold on a sec. Let's do this. Okay. That's not bad. I mean, it's not great. I always feel like I'm always chasing the scraps of the old boys. Yeah, same here. Okay, we did this in that same spot, same amount of buckets. You can see that nice little picker there, the quarter for size base. Um, yeah, so we think we lost a bunch down the matting because it filled, it just packed up. Oh well, so we'll run it again. This, you got this from how many buckets? The same amount I just ran, okay. which was one and three quarters buckets. All right. So that's what caused you to want to go back. Oh yeah. Cool. Let's see wouldn't what I that, got. Wouldn't that want you to go back? Oh yeah. Let's see what I got. Okay. All right, Harry's turn. All right, here are the results from my first bucket working on top of the gray muds. And I got some lead shot and then I got a couple little specks of gold in there. Nothing big. Nothing big. Not like I got. So, Don't know what the deal is. Yeah, that's all right. There's gold there. We'll do the next bucket and then uh, we have more light. All right, we ran out of daylight last night. I ran the rest of my buckets, uh, one and a quarter bucket. And this is all the gold together. And I got a couple pieces of lead too, but I, I've already taken them out of the pan. But there's definitely gold there for sure. Tiny, tiny little pickers. Not, not the greatest gold, but it was still, still a lot of fun. And I would definitely go back and see if I could find a better pocket than that. Thanks for watching.